All right, hello everybody. Uh, I got the earmuffs on, so I don't know how loud I'm talking. So hopefully I'm not screaming at you or anything. Uh, what we're going to do today is blow a little bit of stuff up because today sucked. So we're going to unload some bullets. We have down here three water jugs. And they're all going to meet their untimely demise, I hope. And we have over here our contestants. Number one is the capable 357 Magnum. I've only got five shots left for it. Well, that I'm going to use. i got a couple in the house. Uh, we're using these soft lead point bullets. Uh, jacketed soft point. They're not a hollow point. Like we have over here for the Ruger 1911, which is a 45 caliber. It's a hollow point bullet. Should get good expansion. Should explode the water jug pretty good. And, of course, over here we got the Smith & Wesson 500, which we have great big hollow points for. And, hopefully... I could shoot this thing with some kind of accuracy one-handed because I only got three rounds for it. So, let's load them all up. And I'll save that one for later. I don't feel like dealing with a clip one-handed. Uh, let's see what we got. Let me get rid of this cigarette. Not as much of an explosion as I was hoping for, but like I said, that's jacket at soft point. They're going to have minimal expansion. What we have over here is hollow point rounds, and hopefully it'll explode pretty good. We go that was a little bit of an explosion and time for the big bastard right here I'm gonna need a little beer first I could shoot this thing one-handed without killing myself but I haven't really tried it much for accuracy and I only got three tries but hopefully I'll get one of them Kicks a little bit harder than that 45. Shooting way high. There we go. Got it on the last round. That's a relief. Let's come down here and check out the carnage. First with a 357. Ugh. See, it just kind of blew the side out. I don't know if you can see that. It's so bright out here, I can hardly see the screen. Take these earmuffs off. Man, this is the hollow point 45. Pretty good amount of carnage there. There's the entry wound right here. And it came out somewhere back there. And this unlucky bastard right here got hit by the big boy. Yeah. Uh... I guess if you're going to get hit in the head by something, you want it to be that so it'll be over with in a hurry and you won't feel anything. But, safe to say that the 500 Smith & Wesson definitely does the most damage. So, in conclusion, I hope you had a good time watching, and I had a good time filming it. Uh, I'm going to blow up some more cans and drink some more beer. Rock out.